Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So in this course, what I want to do, or in this example, what I'd like to do is show you how to determine the midpoint between two points. So I have a point C, which is negative 2, 7, and I have a point D, which is negative 9, 5. Now, we don't need to plot these points, but I just kind of like doing a little extra work all the time. So I'm just going to graph them real quick and just kind of see if I can estimate. So I have negative 2 up 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, because sometimes you're going to give them a two points that are going to be on a coordinate grid, and you're going to have to identify what are the coordinates. And then we have negative 9, negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. That's maybe a little bit lower. So that's point D, and that's point C. And so if you were to draw a direct line in between there, we want to find the midpoint. So the midpoint, I'm looking right here. And if I estimate that, I can estimate that it looks like it's going to be negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 negative 5, 2. And that's going to be my estimation. But we don't want to find an estimation. We want to find the exact value of where the midpoint is, because obviously, this is just me sketching it, right? And I can be a little off on my sketch. So to find the exact value, I'm going to use our midpoint formula, which is going to give us the exact coordinate that is in the middle between these two points. OK, so to do that, I first need to identify, you can see I have x and, x1s and y1s, and x2s and y2s. So I'm going to label my coordinates, x and y. And then I just need to determine, well, which one is going to be x1, which one will be x2. And it doesn't really matter. You can just pick. Just make sure the x1 goes with the y1, the x2 goes with the y2. And that's just a way for us to differentiate between the two points. Now I'll go ahead and plug them into my formula. So I have uh, x1, which is negative 2, plus negative 9, divided by 2. And then I have 7 plus negative 5, divided by 2. All right, so it's very important a lot of times when we're using um, these to make sure you put them in parentheses just to not get them confused. So that's negative 2 plus a negative 9. All right, so when we're adding two negative numbers, we just combine them and the answer is negative. So let's go ahead and simplify the numerator first. So negative 2 plus negative 9 is going to be a negative 11 divided by 2, comma, 7 plus a negative 5 is the same thing as like 7 just minus 5, which would be a positive 2, comma 2. Now, negative 11 over 2, we can't simplify. Um, I really don't like to uh, put leave them in, fraction, in a decimal form. But if you're just like itching to be like, what is the decimal? That would be negative 5.5 comma 1, which is not too bad. I was actually pretty close. It looks like actually the midpoint, though, is going to be about right there, which maybe for your viewer, we'll see, yeah, that obviously looks much better. Um, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it's like right there. 5, 1. Okay? Um, but there's going to be your exact point, which is my midpoint. So my estimation was wrong. That's why we like to use the formula. Thanks.